what's going on DC Universe Addicts, this is Seaspirit here, yet again, give you DC Universe Fix. Right now we're going to do another Classics review. Today we're going to take a look at Cheetah. Picked this thing up at a local discount shop for like 8 bucks, so I couldn't pass it up. Um, not my personal favorite character, but she doesn't look too bad. Um, I would like to get the, cla uh, the Golden Age version of her, but uh, or even that other new one with all the ripped caution looks kind of cool, but... This one doesn't look too bad, you know, it looks pretty modern, I guess. Pretty generic. Yeah, but she looks pretty decent, you know. Uh, she's figure number 5 in wave 13. She does come with a little button, a little collector's pin. And not much more to say about this thing. Let's take a quick look on the back here. You can see the picture of the classics, or sorry, the Golden Age version up top, the left-hand side. We have a biography and statistics. If you care to read any of those, you can pause your monitor now. Alright, moving on, like I said, um, we have all the w figures in the wave that came out. Uh, I do have Cyclotron, Blue Beetle, I have the Cheetah, well one version anyway. I have Blue Devil, uh, I still need to get Don Troy, Superboy, Negative Man, and that Trigon looks awesome. Pretty cool guys, so let's take this thing out of the package and go over her in further detail. Meow. Okay, so here we have Cheetah. Uh, out of the package and you know this is a really well done figure and to have her in my collection is pretty cool I prefer uh, this one from the ones that I have I prefer this one over the classics golden age style with the you know the cheetah costume with the little ears and stuff um, but I'm sure there's an exclusive one too uh, I think it's San Diego Comic Con could be mistaken but it has, um, I guess, it, it kind of resembles Cheetah's uh, skin with stitching together. Kind of like a Catwoman costume, but with like Cheetah one. Um, if I'm not mistaken, look, look, at, look a little bit more scary, I think. Uh, this one's a little bit more modernized, of course. Very simple. Black top, black pants. Um, leopard design all the way throughout. Um, I kind of have some reddish tones in there with all these spots, of course. The sculpt is done really well. Uh, paint apps are done really well. Um, very feminine features, of course. You got this um, very uh, distinctive hair sculpt, which is uh, one piece on, of course, attached to the head, and it's a little bit harder um, than you would think. You'd think it's like a soft rubber, but it's pretty hard actually. Done really well, of course. Um, brown and some black in there. Like the face, you got the the lipstick and the eyes are done pretty good. Uh, spots, of course, all the way through her face and arms and really spotty girl. And what can I really say? Uh, she has a tail, which does turn around. Uh, smooth all the way throughout, and then it gets kind of a little bit more of hair-like detailing on the bottom. So this this is some tail you. I'm not sure if you would be wanting to chase after this, but. I'm sure there are some people who would like that, um, but yeah, we won't go there. Um, detailing goes, of course, all the way through her uh, lower feet, and then she has these kind of claw-like toes, uh, toenails, in black. Very simple. Uh, articulation, her head can go side to side, and um, you probably could rotate 360, but you might hinder something or might pull something out that you want not want to be pulled out so I wouldn't suggest it her uh, head can go up and down a little bit arms can rotate 360 at the shoulder rotate 360 at the bicep in and out at the arm 360 at the wrist body can go in and out at the diaphragm just a little bit 360 at the waist they can go forward back they can do the splits they can move 360 at the lower thigh, in and out at the knee, in and out at the ankle. Very simple, but you can get some you know decent poses poses with her. And oh yeah, her hands too. Her hands are very small, very uh, soft, and they actually have these little claws too, black fingernails. Very soft fingernails actually. Soft hands I should say. Um, I guess they don't want it to break off. But anyways. That's it. This is the non variant Cheetah. Uh, not a bad figure. You can get this very easily. Uh, I, I always see lots of them at like, discount stores and stuff like that. Kind of like $7 or something. So thanks for watching. Uh, please give this video a thumbs up if you wish. Leave a comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. 
and I'll catch you guys in the next DC Easy Review or any other video coming up soon. Alright guys, catch you later. See you later.